What is going on guys? We have something really cool for you here, time chain stats. There's a big thing in the Bitcoin community that uh, people, you know, Bitcoin Twitter and, and people really kind of in the weeds, really studying the, the, the protocol and just Bitcoin itself and network, the asset, everything, have been starting to call it time chain, not blockchain. And one of the big reasons, honestly, is because there's a big argument, uh, two reasons. There's a big argument to, to really say that it really is a time chain and not actually a blockchain. And when you go back to Satoshi's writings and, and things of that nature and actually looking to see how he spoke about it. And when you get into things like Bitcoin, everything divided by 21 million, Knut Svonholm's book, or uh, just the example, I guess, you know, three reasons I can think off the top of my head, just because blockchain just kind of gets grouped into like crypto in general and, and Bitcoin just continually gets thrown into this like crypto narrative and thinking like, hey, they're all the same or something like that. It's just all blockchain and it's all the, it's all the same technology and it's just like different, you know, like little intricacies here and there. And it's not, you know, at the end of the day, you know, Jeff Booth has written about this, Fidelity has written about the, the trilemma, the and, and I think Vitalik and Buterin of Ethereum even did as well back in the day and, and knows the difference and still created Ethereum. <laughs> and just, you know, we're, we're going to leave that aside for now. But the, the trilemma itself is scalability, decentralization, and security. And you have, you can't, you, you, you can only have two of the three. And Bitcoin chose decentralization and security. That's its feature. So it created this hard monetary and, and protocol layer, first protocol layer, where really all the other assets, for lack of a, a better explanation, have chosen scalability and have chosen other variations of it, whether it's scalability and decentralization or scalability and security. So that's why Bitcoin has the hardest properties and has continued to, you know, kind of like be the apex predator, but just suck everything else uh, in, just continually pummel everything when you divide everything against Bitcoin over time. Because it has the, the, the two assets that really no other monetary assets have ever had it's just been it's been too tough it, the, the problem has not been able to be solved until now until we've had the the technology and the the computer power and the thinking to kind of put it all together and do it anyway you know solving the byzantine general's problem etc so i don't want to go too far down that road however the time chain again is is one of my uh, buddies aunt on twitter who i, th I think is is yeah, stuff down here at the bottom. Uh, you can follow him down here at, at Time Chain Stats or at Twenty One Forty Data. So, you know, great guy, super uh, incredibly smart guy, working on you know just Bitcoin in many different ways. And this is one of the, his con contributions: is building this website and doesn't make anything from it. And I just wanted to share this because it's a super cool way where you can just check everything very very quickly. And you know, we shared the other site of priced in Bitcoin 21, where it just shows you again, like price, but it shows you like the price of all the other assets in Bitcoin and charting that out where he, and it does this with time chain stats. It's really cool because you, you go through all kinds of other, uh, it just different, uh, metrics and whether it's the key Bitcoin stats here of hash rate, um, next Bitcoin having unconfirmed transactions, current block height, which block height is the time. Uh, block. So getting into the time chain, the time chain is about, and you can see it right here, uh, target block time is every 10 minutes. However, the real block time is just under nine minutes, almost eight and a half minutes. And that varies, that fluctuates. And that's one of the beauties. Again, one of the beauties of Bitcoin is this adjustment, the difficulty adjustment and the protocol ju adjusting itself on the fly. And so, you know, he, he set this up so you can track all this very easily. And this is where people say, oh, there's nothing in Bitcoin or there's nothing really going on and things of that nature. It's like, guys, have you even looked? Have you even, you know, seen, you know, what's going on here? And this is one of many different things you can go look at, uh, whether it's Clark Moody's dashboard. Uh, this is kind of just, I like his time chain stats because it's just kind of a newer updated version of it. And, um, a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more cleaned up, I guess, in a way where Clark Moody's is, is a little bit older style, this one which we'll do a separate video on, but it's just, uh, just a different way of looking at it. So I like this one again, because you can see, and he's got a lot of links to other things. So you can go see like what it is he's, he, you know, he's getting the information from, you know, learn more. You can click on a bunch of these. Uh, he has a ton of resources down here as to, you know, what is Bitcoin, the white paper, you know, different people to go study and, and learn from. So it's, it's just a very, very cool website to just check out dang near anything you want it's so cool like we said difficulty adjustment already we talked about that api providers like you can just go into so many different metrics in bitcoin and the network itself so go check this out let me know what you think of it and i think you'll be really surprised as to what is going on with 
with Bitcoin and, and, and how much there is to it and how nuanced it is, how expansive it is. And, and it's, we're just at the beginning too. Like that's what, that's the really crazy part. The building really hasn't started up until the last handful of years. Like the like true, like, I shouldn't say building people have been building on it for a long time, but like the exponential building and like the people really understanding and getting more and more minds into the system and seeing the potential and the possibilities for what can be done. The things you are going to see just in the next few years alone are going to blow people's minds, whether it's, you know, Nostra, decentralized social media, Zion, start nine with, you know, decentralized uh, operating systems and, and servers. It's just, you know, Blockstream with their satellites. Uh, it's just, it's incredible. The mining through methane gases and, and renewable energy. It's just, it's so beyond the pale that the average person has no idea what they are missing out on. And this is why we look at things like price and say, yeah, this is going to be incredible over the years. And this is why Bitcoin is going to be such a a force to be reckoned with over time. And then you got people like Jason Lauer who just gave a talk the other day who's very controversial inside the uh, hardcore, hardcore Bitcoin community, Bitcoin, Bitcoiner community, and talking about uh, how Bitcoin really could be the in, in completely new operating system and internet that we all live off of in the next 5, 10, 20, 50 years. So, uh, and again, that's a whole road to go down and, and explore. But this is why, and as we have shown many times, again, and we, we did this video as well, why it's so hard to, uh, you, you know, it's so hard to not beat Bitcoin, that's not the best word, but it's, it, you know, whether you're another altcoin or you're the US dollar or fiat or something like that, all these properties, this visibility, this transparency, the auditability, the, the ability to go into the network and actually see what's going on, this is what really is game changing. And I had the, the mempool is in here somewhere, I, I thought, but uh, we're going to do some videos on that. I'm going to kind of do some videos going through a bunch of these different uh, platforms. That you can go and see what's going on, like the mempool. Again, you can go in and see the blocks being confirmed. Uh, and he might even have it in here. Let's see where it is. But anyway, you can look through this and see where uh, it is. I'm sure he does have it in here. And yeah, li I mean, live node map. Uh, blockchain 3D Explorer. So you can go in and, and see these resources and what's actually happening in real time. Again, people say like, well, nothing's really happening. Nothing's, and, and you can see the blocks being confirmed at a given time. Go to the, the Explorer, go to the mempool and see blocks actually going in. So go check this out. Would love to know, get your thoughts on this and, and see what you think about this and see if you can come back, go through this site and spend a couple hours on it and just be blown away and then say, oh, there's nothing going on with Bitcoin. There's just there's just nothing going on at all. I, I dare someone to, to do that. Uh, and I see a lot of kid, people nowadays saying, oh, my, my kid was born at block height 772,000 uh, or whatever. So do we have a, you know, the, the new time reference of life being built al already? As we know, time is 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 finite here for us on Earth, but time is also it doesn't exist either, right? Time is infinite. Energy is infinite. So again, not to a debate to get into to, to today, but I want to get your thoughts on this. See what you think. These are just incredible sites that I love using, and uh, please like and subscribe to this. Share this video. I think people really get some use out of this, and uh, let me know what you think. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.